Unfortunately, I think it is unfortunate in Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, there are not that many Dr. Mary Scotts serving at high levels within our institutions. I'd love to hear your your evolution and yeah, whatever you'd like to share about being a, a female leader within our within our church body. I was involved in athletics and in choir and you know different things that you do. And in that blend of leaders, I had women leaders as coaches. Um, when I went into college, I had women instructors and women leaders as coaches. And so in those roles, when I look back over my life, I always ended up being a captain, right, of a team, like somewhere <laughs> along the way. And so I kind of fell into natural leadership uh, ability. I went into, um, you know, teaching and uh, got to eventually to Christ College at the time and then Concordia University. And there you know, I had I had male leaders who said, you're a leader. You know, they had to kind of pull me in and ask me to participate in this and, um, and to be a leader. I am uh, forever indebted for, for male leaders in the church who said, come alongside and be, be a part of this. Um, I think I was always a leader, but it was like kind of processing through because it kind of didn't fit, right? I was Lutheran <laughs> and in the LCMS, and I knew there was a, a cap of leadership abilities, you know, you, you know, according to church policy and sometimes according to, in my opinion, according to church politics. Eventually, over time, you know, I realized okay, this is how God has gifted me, and I, I love this. I think one of the reasons there's not that many women leaders, I, I learned a phrase in my doctoral program that said, when I look up, can I see myself? And that phrase has stuck with me because when you look up the chain, like when you look up the organizational chart, do you see somebody like you? And, and, and in the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod leadership, I don't. 